Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Radius Mod Trivia campaign. We're picking things up for episode 7 from turn 25 in the summer season of 195. So last episode, uh, we ended by creating our first uh, family vassal, so putting our family in positions of faction leaders. And we're on to creating the second one of those after we wipe out children. And this one's going to be a little bit tricky. I think we need two fights. Um, they have quite a bit of men. Uh, given they have oh, one and a half stacks and then also the huge garrison so baby steps here oh yes we are declaring war surprise surprise and we can night battle this and i think that's what we want to do we want to take little bites of their army and also try to minimize losses at each step maximize number number ammo we can use and all sorts of stuff like that so let's just hop in here Alrighty. so they have a very small force compared to us, and this one should just be formalities. Let's go! I probably want him to go farm some experience as well. Oh, did we overshoot that? I think we did. I'm gonna send them out, because it seems like they have way too many uh, range units. Oh, we outranged them. Yeah, by a little bit. Alright, coming out of the forest. Ooh, they intercepted us. Impressive. Okay, they changed targets, good. Yeah, they went suicided. Actually, just back off. Ooh, I might have overstepped. Uh, just stop. Oh, friendly fire. Uh, look at the burn damage. He's unbreakable. What a pain. Everyone just chill. Let our general take care of this. Last one. Bring it down. There we go. Uh, our little flamethrower did the most damage to ourselves. 
All right, step one complete. Now we fight the siege battle. She's a traitor with surplus market, modest plus stubborn. That is quite nice. We're gonna take her in. The bad news is I want the faction to be wiped so I can create a vassal. But it looks like that's probably not possible. All right, let's take the fight anyways. They'll suicide into us. Alrighty, we got ourselves a lumber yard. And we're probably going to do the same thing we do at every lumber yard and just... I'll probably pick this side just because the tree is a little bit less dense here. We lost the unit too on that last charge that she did. Yeah, I don't think anyone's charging out at us, so we'll just bomb away, and uh, I'm thinking the misses might just scratch the towers. Maybe not true. Maybe we aim for the towers and hope the misses hit the units. We'll probably have to burn these down as well. Alright, we're having a lot of difficulties on this one. There we go. Selling wide. There we go. Not quite. One more try. There we go. As you can see, our formation already creeped up. So might as well all creep up. I mean, we can walk these guys up later, but right now... Just want a good view of their line. This is three times speed movement. And it's still slow. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Nice of them to line up so neatly. There's the other four shot. There we go. Those are good range. 195 on that one, 180 on that one. I wonder if we can cripple that guy.
think it's a little bit too inaccurate to shoot over there. Yeah, it's not having a good effect. Might as well just hammer these guys. Maybe just hammer this one, because this is actually one that can stop our units from getting to that position. Meanwhile... That's gonna be hard for them to get around these guys. I also have to get through that fire in the forest. Maybe we should just wait a little bit. Lie up here first. Wait, what is this unit? Imperial Guard? Wait for this shrub to burn out. Tell you guys to crawl. You guys can walk in sync. Man, it's hard to kill one unit. Let's see how many people die of fire. There's one. There's two. Hmm, we might actually route that unit. Okay, we kind of chased it away, which is pretty decent. Yeah, I was kind of worried they might be not in the ideal position. Oh, come on. Why is it so hard to get them to line up straight? Get it. I. Uh, it's too small. It's not enough space for both of them. Okay, I think I'm finally content with the protection and the setup. Time to turn it on? No, 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 come back in. Okay, very satisfied.
They should be sending more up. Yep. Let them come a little closer. Especially those generals. That's close enough. Close enough, I said. Close enough. We still have a few archers trying to pick us off. I'm doing a pretty good job of it too. Actually getting kills. Alright, that general's dead. One guy's enraged. Now we just gotta make sure the enraged general's cavalry die off. Push forward into them. Oh, oh, oh. If they back off, then we just stay put. Stay put. Shields back up. Hmm. We still don't have a good solution for their arranged units. We do outrange most of them, just not all of them. This one in particular, or this one right here, we actually don't outrange. Give it a shot. Let's see if we can use our range to our advantage. Ooh, what are these? Imperial defenders? Big shields. Absolutely useless against fire. them get closer. We we're hitting them a little too hard. Much better. We still have flaming shots. Oh, we had one, two. Oh, come on. It's gotta be more accurate than that. Oh, maybe I do need to micro it.
<laughs> they're still firing. Alright, they're out of ammo. Move them out. We're charging in. We can squeeze from like the right side here, be great. Nope, he can't break through, then it's pretty bad. Then it's better off he goes somewhere else. We're just going to be cramped over here, which is fine. Kind of what we're aiming for here. And then we're just going to go aggressive on this side. We can pull them back. No, no, no. You go here. You just have to... Turn yourself around here. Okay, we're going to try to flank. Attack! Offensive wooden beast maneuver. They don't pay attention to us for a little bit longer. We can do some serious damage once they get into position. Let it go. Listen to my command. Fire where I want to fire.
Alright, you guys are out of shots. Run! Minus you guys. Uh, we got one unbreakable general. So fire at him as hard as you can. Stay on top of them. Unbreakable commanders are still annoying, even on records mode. Archers take forever to kill them. Alright, now you're just friendly firing. Go away. Run him down. Oh, you're getting shot. Not smart. Alright, we killed him. This was a grindy fight, but... We can rest for a little bit now. Right. Unfortunately, the faction is not wiped. They still have that one army on the outside. And we did lose a lot of Imperial favor. We don't see his stuff, but we can see he at least have a silver armor. I'm going to employ him first. And if we don't like him, we can get rid of him. He's the heir, but doesn't really have anything good. Alright, that's probably the last Han faction fight we have to actually fight. Uh, he doesn't really need to pick up Reach. Own army, extra experience per turn? Sure, it's not a lot, but something. I assume he's going to suicide into us, thus ending the faction. And then this army can slowly ride back. Alright, we can finally get Ba refugees, that's the one I was looking for. I'm thinking maybe we redeploy this army, maybe it'd be quicker that way, rather than walking all the way back. So in that case, I can even get rid of this group. We don't need them to watch the other army suicide here. Can he get better units than these? Okay, house guards are available. See, we kept these because we can't recruit these, but I don't know if we should keep them because it doesn't really go with the champion at all. And it's not like these are elite, elite units. So I feel like we should just switch to all house guards. Oh, the house guards don't have turtle, right. That's the awkward part. It's actually weird that they don't have turtle formation. Like, this big of a shield, it's because they have javelin that they don't have turtle formation? Because that's too broken. Javelin turtles that move. And then my units have those. Those are really nice. I don't know. These aren't that fancy. I don't actually like them, but because of the Juggernaut, we need some. That's a bummer. Okay, I guess we'll keep these and we'll redeploy them. Uh, next turn. Unfortunately, we can't redeploy them this turn because he, he will suicide back in and we got to make sure we can kill him. Maybe we can kill him. Maybe he's enough. Alright, this will save us a lot of money. We're redeploying them. Elsewhere, we got more exciting things. 8% armor. Armor. 
Guerrilla deployment. I'm going to first speed, I think. In case they have more armies, which is very likely. Yeah, we enter into a coalition with Sun Tzu's group. Looks like they have just a ton of armies everywhere. Three, four, five, six armies. Quite busy. Uh, what should we do with this group? I was thinking of completing that, but we don't really need to send a very expensive group over to do that, wasting income. I think they need to be sent to the front lines as well. And if anything, probably more towards the Han side, because they don't actually have Juggernauts, which is... I guess just the way it's built, because we don't have turtle formation here, so it's hard to protect Juggernauts. I think it's also good for them to redeploy. Man, are we going to look weak diplomatically for this turn. Alright, let's see what we can build here. We can max this all the way up. Still a huge fan of free income. Still, so general we're giving away, so I don't care. Same thing here. This we traded for because we're keeping that for resource. Summer. All right, we're probably not good to talk about diplomacy right now. We'll pass on everything else. I don't think we're interested in changing tax rates. One more turn to sweet talk ourselves in front of the Emperor. And I think we're good to go. Let's continue. Okay, I don't mind the failed ambush part. We're just going to delegate this anyways. We just wanted something to bump into us. Or else that size of army would never come close to us. Uh, we want tigers. We don't have tigers, don't come to us. Pass. Alright, he's gonna suicide into us. We kept the general here just for this delegate. And we should get the faction wipe now. We caught him. Less than interested. Alright, she's activated her ability doesn't really matter for us oh we have the wife in our faction apparently give Luel some food for imperial favor actually I want imperial favor badly so how much food oh he has positive food he has two food I got to give him eight and you can pay me We're doing an Emperor a favor, but it's not free for you. Wow. Never knew you to be this generous. Okay, 19 it is. That's still quite a lot. And we'll get some Imperial Favor on top of that, so all good. Now the first army we probably want to resummon is the one that we have the other generals for. And when we do go back into battle, I feel like it's going to be here. So this army is Xu Huang's group, I believe. No one has flexibility for extra replenishment. I think I'll take the capture chance. 
身心再度融为一体。And then we'll resummon the other army here to fight the Naman forces, but he needs to be recalled first. And we're also going to be releasing another one of our relatives. So who is going to be? We could actually. I was thinking about giving away our son. The only problem is he's currently in the army, playing a pretty vital role. It would be kind of a shame to get rid of him. That leaves very few family candidates. I guess the middle child would be the one who we're looking at now. He's just on assignment. We have to cancel it. But other than the fact that he has perceptive, there's really nothing too great about him. And the orator role is not something I'm happy about. So I think he will be the one getting the role next turn. All right, I think we have to advance in here. Not related to us. Twenty-six percent means we can ambush here. We're gonna be very careful. I'm sure I don't have extra redeployment. Yeah, that's right. So I can't summon anything. Children's where we're not building. We have thirty-four k. I feel like we should rush something. Ah, and we got our prestige level up. Good. Let's do that later. Let's get this done first. So I think it's to take this twenty percent character salary decrease now. We got six points again. If I put two points here. I get twelve percent character salary discount for administrators. And then I'll put one more point into the army. Yeah, we're definitely going to be able to fill all the bars. I feel like the way Radius is designed, it's like you can have everything. You can have all the reforms. You can have all the, you know, prestige point upgrade. You can have all the skills on a skill tree when you level up. Speaking of, what happened to food? We traded away eight. But we didn't. Huh. Was one of our administrators providing us a bunch of food? And we'll tank it for a turn. I mean, we have so much money. I really should be rushing a lot of buildings. Oh, it's because we finished the settlement upgrade. Never mind. That's what happened. So I'm still gonna rush this. Use this to get me some more food, so we can actually lower the tax down. Because I don't really want to tax my people. Public order is already bad enough. Um, hmm. Two turns, five turns, two turns. I'm gonna rush that. Settle on the free building. Way too many assignments for us to do stuff. A lot of them are coming back out on the battlefield. We did pick him up, right? But mainly for the armor. With some fondness, unbreakable. I mean, at worst, he can be a pretty decent assignment for 60% peasantry. We have a lot of peasantry points in a lot of places. Uh, mainly... I guess Hopu could have used one as well. Ah, guess who has one? It's okay. We got tax buildings everywhere. Go for it. Alright, I think we're good. 
let's uh, continue here. Alrighty, Mulu and Menghu are fighting. Good. We gained favor. We spent a lot of food doing that. Our two Nanman generals don't like each other. Pass. Feels like we got some free land here. I really do hate the medium. This is what... Oh, let's fight this. We can burn them out pretty easily. Alright, it's a nice addition to our spice market. The spice market trader whatever settlement. That's what this is. Actually, why don't we fight here? Just because it's a little bit flatter. It feels like there's like a little bump. It's going to be harder for our juggernauts to do their thing. Yeah, it feels like our faction really lack good turtle units. I'm glad they're willing to come out. Makes it so much easier. Uh, do we have any sort of anti-range? Nah, that's fine. We'll let their range do their thing. You guys made it pretty far. I think they're done. I think they're all done. Smart choice. Alright, they officially killed eight. And we only lost eight, so no friendly fire, which is great. Alright, we're gonna go get that copper mine. They're actually fighting among themselves, so I'm guessing Mulu's army is gonna go towards them. We are going to summon the army here. The one that we had on the field before. And he's gonna get nice Ba Refugee Cavalry. Very expensive, but hopefully worth it. Some odd lot. Hmm. Still not interested. All right, we're going to send the middle kid, the middle child, uh, so that we don't have to pay for orator either. Grant him independence. He can keep the lumberyard because he can't trade for it because it's on the other side. We didn't pick up any new trade routes, but maybe through reforms this turn we can. Oh no, we can't. We kind of already maxed that out. Uh, level 4 spice, and then we'll work our way over there. Corruption reduction can wait. I think we're fine right now. Huh. 
Administrator Zhang Ke give us five food. As the administrator. All right, now we can upgrade these. Yeah, we have way too many assignments. Like, I'm gonna be fine leaving most of them empty, actually. Not like until we have overwhelming like number of characters, which we just don't have right now. Yeah, we're fine. All right, looking pretty good. Economy's doing well. Uh, we could even plan for like another army, especially some like these burn officer here, just not doing anything. Hmm, where should I summon this one? Maybe here, just to punch out in two different directions in the future. Oh, we're out of seasonal deployment. So we have to think about that next turn. That's fine. Let's continue. All right, looters got destroyed, sure. Yuan Shu was thinking about becoming an emperor. Ah, the emperor likes us to the point where she sent, oh, he sends us aid. This is actually super nice. Mo Hu was moving across, I'm guessing for his war with Mu Lu. We got ourselves a murderer, uh, just a generic bandit. Not impressed. Yang Feng. Love his bonus. All right. Welcome. We could use a lot of champions as well. Oh, we're also missing a lot of administrators, aren't we? We don't have full administrator. Oh, I guess we don't even have full commanderies, but like here, we could definitely use administrator, maybe even like you. Maybe that way you can stay happy. Yeah, I, I think we want to change Hopu into a income commandery. Denny, we don't have the capital with Zhaozhi, we do have administrator. Alright, so we guess we do have four administrator for four commandery capitals. I don't have to care about him. He's not interfering with us here at all. Why don't you hold on to that? It's a long journey there. I, okay, now we see the army. She's on march, but I think she can, she might still be able to reach us even when she takes march off because she has that fire ability, which I think gives some movement. Right, we have one army of Dai Lai over here. Uh oh. Coming to attack our mine here. With tigers and elephants. I'm going to come down here, grab these. So here's the question. Have you fought enough? Not quite. We could buy our piece. I noticed this a little earlier. He's also on March. But I feel like he can reach that. Like I don't think it's worthwhile sending out an army here right now. Especially if I think he could see just next turn. We're kind of out of strategist. He's not a spy because he was working under the former faction of Gaoliang, who's now taken over by Shi Yi. So he's not actually working for Shi Yi. So he's not a spy. I could grab him, just because I need strategist. He also has a mercenary infantry. I 
which you know obviously will be ready right away. He works well with our southern elephant group. Dongbai is also I'm trying to find any other mercenary units or something like that. I guess not. Dongbai is also a burn general. But maybe we just go Nanman forces here. He doesn't have fire arrows, but I can give him flaming shot, right? Alright, we want suppression. He's not high enough level to grab tribuches right now. Alright, we're going to invest heavily into this. Wait, E Vanguard? Wolf Fang? Also with the Wolf Pack ability, but we only have one of those. Oh no, but we have a Wolf Pack. They can pair up. Well, that actually worked out. I have a Fire Arrow here. What can we replace these with? A lot of things. They have good items. Should have taken her items, actually. But at this point, I'm gonna let them keep it. I think they'll think twice before coming to attack us. We do have a decent, um, decent sized garrison here as well. Hopefully they can hold. It's a gamble for us, for sure. Alright, no one amazing to grab. We're kind of out of cash. They're ambushed. They're waiting to heal and betray Mulu. We don't have a long-term deal, right? No. So it's fine. That's our vassal. No big deal there. I think we're good. I think we're good. Ah, we now know it's Hull's Hall. That's not great. Give him a lot of food. He likes us quite a bit. And I know he's decently generous. I guess now he's poor, but he was decently generous. Which is why he's poor. There we go. Alright, let's continue and see what goes on. Oh, they do have insane movement. Okay, so it's predicting a crushing defeat for us. I don't know which version of the fire she activated, so I don't know what exact boost they're getting. It does look a little scary, but I trust that we have the advantage with our fire gears and her units. Uh, a lot of these are very different from the base game, but I think we're fine. She has like two elephants, that's the scary part. I don't see anything else that's scary, so let's fight her. This will definitely weaken them. Of course it will rain for them. Huh. Okay. We're gonna set up pretty far away. Maybe on this hill. Usually I don't prefer heals, uh, hills because Juggernauts don't do quite well on them, but I think with the mod, they are shooting their flames in really weird... Like, they shoot straight, but then they hit far away. So I'm guessing they can probably do well on the hill. Alright, they can't. They gotta they got run. Hustle over.
get over here. We'll set up formation later because it just slows them down. The forest not going to light up in this weather, so we don't really need to fight in any forest. We just want it nice and open and use our flaming or flamethrowers and flaming shots just to wipe them out. Ah, so it begins. Only targeting where the elephants are. They actually don't have a lot of range. Two range units only. Alright, gonna bring the cavalry out like usual. They have to climb a hill to get to us. Hmm, it's not. Oh, actually, yeah, it's working. Focus the elephants. Stop their um, charge, basically. Uh, why did you move up? No one's coming on this side. Move. Fire will break out. Turn these around. Barbecue the elephants, please. Someone. Hello? Listen. Do it. That spreads you out farther. Wasting my time. There we go. I just pick him off as he breaks from that formation. Whoa, the elephant broke in. Yeah, elephants are tough to kill. Actually, clean this up first. They're fine over there. All 
All right, we did it. Uh, it was kind of chaotic with the elephants, but overall not too bad. There we go. I think the elephants got like 50 of us killed combined, the two elephants, so it's not too bad. Yeah, 41-12. She dropped her daggers. We will take replenishment actually. Okay, the main thing is her other army didn't make it, right? Give us a turn to replenish all that good stuff. Ooh, someone's putting a good word for us. Thank you. Uh, Nanhai's faction. Meng Huo and. Oh! Interesting. That's why they didn't fight us. He swooped in at her moment of weakness and confederated her while losing the land over here. Well, Meng Huo and I have a food deal, so we don't have to worry about him. Which means Mulu is going to get killed. Alright, we'll do that next episode. We'll come back. Mulu has two pieces of land. He just fought Meng Huo's maybe just the empty commander. It doesn't matter. We have one army coming up, one army coming down, one army defending here, one army defending here. We'll be wiping out Mulu first before making our move against Meng Huo once that food deal expires and then taking the rest of this. I think Zhu Rong had all of these. Yang Feng only has that. And then it's just Xini, Tuan, maybe Man Ya Chang still alive, not sure. Wu Tu Gu, and then that's it. The Naman lands would be ours, of course. Uh, Sha Mo Ke and them are still here, but we gave them a food deal and it seems like he's busy fighting Sun Ce. So, I'm going to let Sun Ce do the honors, or let them do whoever win, doesn't really matter for us. Well, I'm not going to help Sun Ce take any land. I might be interested in taking that capital just to set up uh, another vassal here with our family. Uh, we're getting a decent amount of uh, Splendor. The ideal setup is to get like 7 of these, so every turn we get a chest, every turn we get a chest and uh, while keeping it really high for all the bonuses. Right now we're just stacking it for now. Um, it's not hard to get to seven. We just have to basically plan out the commanderies. I think over here is like once we get Yongchang, we set it up and then we just take the silk away with that. Um, just little isolated corners. That's pretty much what we're gonna do. A Little bit here, a little bit here. Maybe we'll summon the individual army just to go grab us that before anyone else does. Sun Tzu is really going rampant here, but he's our, you know, coalition partner, so good for him. Um, all this f flag, one day it'll be ours. That's what we think. Um, so until then, bye.